Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, getting ready to take my first plane trip in like 15 years. If any of you guys followed me on my blog, you know that I've talked about traveling to do some filming. I'll be filming in Denver this week and um, it's kind of a long flight out, so I wanted to make sure I had some things to occupy my time while I was in the plane. So I'm going to use this pocketbook that um, I got in Boston a couple of years ago and I like it because it's got a lot of different, um, different like kind of lots of big open space. Like I'll probably throw some, I don't know what I'll put in there, but I've got room there anyway. Um, maybe if I buy anything <laughs> to bring home. But um, mainly what I'm going to do here with this bag is keep things to kind of amuse me on the plane. I'm going to be carrying, uh, we're wearing a jacket with pockets, so I'll keep my wallet and phone and all that stuff in there. But um, I want to have things that I could do artistically on the plane. So first thing I'm going to bring is this visual journal. This is the mixed media one by Strathmore. And I haven't used this, um, this particular journal yet, so I'm kind of curious and hopefully it's good. I use the 140 pound cold press watercolor visual journal th that was this size and I loved it but I bought one of each of the kinds that they had because they were five bucks at AC Moore and I figured well I'll try them out and um and see what I think so I'll be using this on the plane I also brought my old Kindle because um when I charge this up I can get like a week worth of a charge so I'll definitely know even if I'm reading constantly I don't do any art I'll be able to read like all day tomorrow while I'm flying so um so I brought that and actually the charger for this is the same charger as my phone so that works out really well and I actually have the charger for my phone and some headphones in there I don't know if I'll use the headphones for anything but they're there in case I, I don't know download a podcast or something um so this is these are all my supplies I'm gonna bring I know it doesn't seem like much but um, I like to pack light uh, I always find like the more I pack the less I do so I packed a little notebook and this is just um, I kind of like jot down patterns or ideas and stuff that way if I get some great ideas for videos when I come back I can get them right in here so I don't forget them um, I always seem to come up with the best ideas when I have no um, ability to work on them so on the plane that'll be perfect I'll have that little notebook um, I just sharpened up a bunch of my um, just doubles of watercolor pencils so I have some oddballs and doubles in here I have my duplicate Albright drawer pencils and also the oddball Karen Dosh super colors that I bought um, just to try them out and they were really nice but I didn't really I didn't need a new set of watercolor pencils so I just tried a few and um, so they're all sharpened so hopefully I won't have to sharpen them too much on the plane and I won't have a bunch of you know shavings to deal with and I put a hair tie around them just because I know I'll probably need a hair tie all well, amount about and that will keep them from banging around too much I had a couple paper, paper towels there and and um, here I took the uh, Prima watercolor kits. I had two of them and um, those are the colors that were in the tropical set. And then I took a few of the colors. I took seven of the colors out of the classic set and just kind of put them in the middle. And that will just, if I feel like doing some watercoloring, I have those. And I also grabbed my two Prima water brushes because actually these are pretty good. These are, these are pretty nice quality. Um, they, the little one comes to a nice fine point if I squeeze out a little water. I might have to dump the water out before I get on the plane. I don't know, um, but I'll, you know, let them know. Um, but it comes to a really nice point, and uh, so I wanted to make sure I had something there. And if I'm painting in my hotel room, then I can always have a couple cups of, of water to work on if I need more water than that. And I, because I've had a lot of people ask me about doing some tutorials with the Elegant Writer, and um, like you can draw with this, and then you can add water, and it just does some really cool stuff. Uh, so I'm going to bring that on the plane so I can play with it, and then I've got just a waterproof Micron pen. I might grab a couple others, um, just so I have a few other sizes, but I don't know. I'm a minimalist when it comes to travel arting, and then a pencil sharpener. So there you have it. That's what I am going to take on the plane to amuse myself while I am traveling tomorrow. Wish me luck. I haven't flown in since my honeymoon. That was uh, 15 years ago. So, um, so I'm excited, but a little, you know, a little nervous, but I think I'll be fine. You know, safer than driving, as everybody says. Of course, when you're driving, you're not in a metal tube 35,000 feet over the world, but I'm sure I'll be fine. There you have it. That's what I'm bringing on the plane. What would you take? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, who knows, maybe I'll add it to my bag real quick before I leave tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, happy crafting.